Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is Ejen Mateus Glass. Our topic for today is all about proving theorems related to seconds, tangents, and segments of our circle. This is the Great in Mathematics second quarter of week number 6. And this is Mr. Reyes guiding you for our lesson for today. And ang ating mga learning objectives are the learner probes theorems on seconds, tangents, and segments of a circle. Later on, we are going to solve problems on circles related to these theorems. Umpisa natin sa warm-up activity. Ang title ng ating warm-up activity or a story is all about the pizza lover's story by Werdos. If you want to follow their page, meron na silang more than 100,000 followers. So, nakikrate sila ng mga animated or uh, something cartoons something like story uh, kwento ito ng dalawang magkasintahan na nag-order ng dalawang nag-order ng pizza okay so nagkataon na according to the, yung lalaki dito mag-order na lang tayo ng uh, dalawang 12 inch diameter na pizza sabi niya para masulit daw kasi nga dalawa but according to this girl yung babae dito ang sabi niya mas malaki kaysa yung 12 inches na yan, sabi niya. Mas maganda na yung 18 inches na diameter. Bakit ka mo? Ipinob niya dito na mas malaki nga yung area ng uh, pizza dito na may 18 inches na diameter. Using the pi r squared, nag-arrive siya sa 254.5. While yung isa naman, dalawang 12 inches na diameter na pizza na yan, nag-arrive sa bawat isa ay 113.09 times 2 nag-arrive siya sa 226.19. So, with that, dahil sa mathematician na kasintahan niya na ito, mas makakamura pa sila kung ang bibili nila yung 18 inches diameter. You can apply that anywhere. At least, makakatipid ka, busog ka na pa. Busog ka na, nakatipid ka pa. Okay? Follow their page. Uh, where those? I-time nyo lang. Again, we are going to prove DRM. Because this is the formal method of providing a proof in symbolic logic. Ginagamit ang proving na ito most likely sa branch of mathematics na geometry. We will be using the two-column proof. This is mostly the best one, the organized one, because at the left side, we are going to use the uh, statement, and for the right side, you are going to write your reasons. Our very first theorem na i-entertain ay ito, about two intersecting chords. If two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. Using this equation, applying this figure, malalaman nyo natin mamaya na ang product daw nung mga segments per chord ay equal dun sa product nung segments ng other chord. Paano kaya natin ipuprobe na yung product nung segments ng isang chord na ito, AM, BM, look at the drawing, this is our AM, this is our BM, equal pala yan sa product ng DM at saka EM. This is our DM and this is our EM. So, again, we are going to prove that with the use of our two-column proof. We are given AB and DE are chords. Nakikita nyo sa supporting drawing natin. Uh, they are chords intersecting at, at point M na nandun sa loob ng ating circle, nung circle C na ito. We are going to prove once again na yung uh, products AMBM ay equal sa DMEM. So, gagamit tayo ng two column proof, left side statement, right side reason. Nakalimutan natin sa slide natin, this will be the number one as always. Dahil nga, kapag may given, hindi ka nasisero. So that is our first one. Imagining na yan yung ating first row. And our second one, try to figure out ano kaya magiging atake natin sa theorem na ito. Our next 
uh, the second part here could be this way we are going to draw something from the drawing because we will realize that kung bakit tayo nag drawing so by construction makikita nyo sa drawing natin iguguhit ko ito and gagamitin ko kasi yung ideya yan kung bakit ako nag drawing so our third statement ganito yung gagawin natin ano kaya malalaman natin na sa third statement is ang measure ng ating BAE this one Uh, using the three letters, angle BAE, equal yun sa measure of angle EDB natin. Using take mark na ganito, equal yung yan. Ano kaya ang magiging reason? Tingnan mo yung drawing natin. Bakit kaya equal yan? Based from our previous lesson, bakit kaya equal yan? Look at our circumference or some part of an arc, somewhere in the arc. Okay, good. Because, equal sila because of this intercepted arc because according to the rule inscribed angles which intercept the same arc are always equal ang measure ng ating inscribed angle ay magiging equal provided na pareho ang kanilang intercepted arc so with that nagkaroon na tayo ng pangatlong statement ano kaya ang magiging pangapat natin Normally, sa mga pinuprove natin nung nakarang araw, hinahanap natin ng posibleng mga triangles na pwedeng maging congruent o kaya during grade 9, maghanap kayo ng pwedeng maging similar. So with this settlement or with this uh, figure natin, may mga may nagbabad yang pwedeng maging similar na triangles dito. Dahil pwede kong sabihin na ang ating measure na nandito We could say that the this angle and this angle are also equal or congruent and then gagawin natin equal pero equal na lang gamitin natin. We could say that the measure of angle AME is actually equal to the measure of our angle DMB. Okay? What is the reason? Sige nga. Balikan mo yung pinag-aralan mo nung mga previous grades mo. Okay, correct. Because of the vertical angles, or basically in vertical angles, their measures are equal. Okay? The measures of vertical angles are equal. So with that, maaari ko nang sabihin sa number 5 row ng aking triangle AME is actually Similar, this is a symbol of similar. Uh, our triangle AME is actually similar to our triangle DMB. What would be the reason? May mga similarity theorems tayong nangyayari nung grade 9. So, maaari nating sabihin na kahit nakakita tayo ng uh, two pairs of congruent angles dito, we have the one tick mark, we have the two tick marks. With that, Because of the angle-angle similarity similarity theorem, masasabi natin na yung dalawang triangles AME at saka DMB ay similar. So, ano kaya yung number 6 natin dito? Siyempre, nagkaroon na tayo ng similar triangles dito. Ibig sabihin, yung mga corresponding parts niya ay nagkakaroon ng pro proportional na mga sides na mayroon sa dalawang triangles na yan. If I'm going to select a certain side, let's say, uh, I will be selecting AM and over a certain side, which is uh, EM, okay? kung napapansin nyo, kumuha ko ng dalawang sides ng triangle dito in my first triangle, kinuha ko ito divided by this one gagawin ko rin yan sa kabila because that is proportional to the other triangle. Since kinuha ko yung AM over EM kanina, ang pagkuha ko rin dun sa isang triangle ay DM okay? DM over BM So, ito yung mga proportional segments natin na nakita. So, because of the proportionality theorem na meron sa mga similar triangles natin. So, with that, uh, pwede nating i-cross out ito. 
we could have uh, EM times BM is equal to DM times EM. Uh, we could have the reason of multiplication property. Multiplication property. Kasi nga, pwede tayong mag-multiply ng EM at saka BM, left and right side. Or, simply, you could uh, cross-multiply if you want. This is also favorable uh, reason dito sa ating uh, number 6 going to number 7. So, with that, na-prove natin, nagkaroon tayo ng equal products out of the two chords na nag-intersect sa ating circle. So, by this example, applying our theorem kanina, so, we could say that the product of x and 15 is equal to the product of 9 and 5. So, we could multiply this by simply 15x. We have 45 dividing both sides by 15. You will have x is equal to 3. And that is our first theorem proven with an example.